You know, if I catch you on biceps and banter, you are in trouble. I really do find it difficult to be anything but myself. How do you feel now? Um, humiliated. You can challenge me all you like. I'm not threatened by you at all. My Fail. fingers are big. Shock horror I got here first. Just at Black Country Bar by now, on my own, waiting for Mike and Leah because the stars never drop on time, do they? Cameraman does, so we're supposed to be doing a day in the life. So apparently, you start the day with being late. That's how you start the day when you're a competitive eater. Oh, hey. Where do I park? I parked in Tesco. Parked in Tesco? Yeah, oh, you there. naughty right. boy. I really do find it difficult to be anything but myself. So I thought, okay, people are either going to love me or hate me and whatever it is, I'm fine with it. And like, they don't have to watch my channel. It's fine. You've just you've got to be, you've got to be yourself. People are going to buy into you before they buy into your product. And my product is a very niche thing. Like, not everyone's going to want to watch someone eat a load of food. And when I first really put myself out there with what I do, I was petrified to put my face on social media. Like, I didn't like to have my photo taken. I was very, very camera shy. And there was a lot of like overcoming of that that I had to deal with. So that was my biggest concern. It was like, as long as I feel confident and comfortable in front of a camera, that's what I needed to set up. So that was my overcoming of. And then the fact that I had to do a challenge, it was like another thing added. So I think being competitive got me through the insecurity of being on camera. When it comes to like my personality and my character, I'm very like straight down the line, straight talking. Like I don't take... <laughs> I don't take much too seriously and not a lot offends me and I feel like everyone's gonna have an opinion on you and I've had the best and worst people watch my channel and comment and I think the best definitely outweighs the worst. What it comes down to is the smaller YouTubers you probably overlook massively. The bigger YouTubers have already made it on YouTube, so they're living different lifestyles now. So when they started, it was probably very much about like a very light-hearted look at fitness and look at their lives. But then now, obviously, they're doing really well with themselves, got a much different lifestyle, and they are documenting what people want to see, which is, show me what you're driving, show me what you're wearing, show me what you're eating. Like, I don't really want to know about like the five ways you can bench press, like, who cares? So whatever it is that you, you do, you need to just think about what's going to capture people in a clickbait type of way. And you're not trying to trick people, you're just trying to say, look, a channel is good, but give it a chance. So you need to, like, something to capture someone. So for me, it was like, what I do is quite strange. So for a girl to do this stuff is weird. So when people see, like, girl, loads of food, like, body that just isn't fat, like, that gets people, they're like, oh, I want to see this. What's the eating challenge, by the way? I don't even know yet. Um, a mixed grill. A, mi a mixed grill, an Indian mixed grill, a lot of meat, a lot of like I sheesh, so. uh, a naan spices, bread, it? like a large naan bread, like a big one, a bowl of poppadoms, a pint. You've got to have a pint with it. Brilliant. What's <laughs> no. the point of that? And it's got to be done in under 30 minutes, undefeated, so... You jumped on the first one, so it doesn't count. Yeah, she got one. We'll let her have that one. Hopefully our fans have a go at her form, like I got rinsed on her video yeah. last time. I'm not doing it properly. Show me how to do it properly then. I just did it. It's about 30. Come on, big man. Yeah, but you can do like a wide grip. I like, yeah, can't. I know you. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, Mike got absolutely trashed on Leah's channel for his poor form on the eating challenge. They didn't lick the bones. Leah's used to licking bones. I know. See if you can pull up 120 kilos. Just about half rep, but it's alright. <laughs> Swinging as well. Don't worry about it, mate. Just don't let those shoulders round at the top, yeah? What can I say? Two bowls, too light. It's easy to pull that amount of weight up, surely. Plus, my hair weighs about four kilos. And your ego weighs 20, so... <laughs> How many subscribers have you got? Almost 40, 45. Yeah. 45. Yeah. And you were on, what were we, last time we saw, what were we on? 30 Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Right, we need to get her tricks, mate. I told you, mate, you don't do any eating challenges anymore. It's your problem. It's your fault, mate. I'll do one today, aren't I? If you're <laughs> like, people aren't like... Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a great point, Leah. That's a Genuinely, great point. Though, like, yeah. if you're going to sell yourself as a competitive eater, like, you need to You've got to lick your bones. How well. many calories have you done in the day? Most. And I know the answer to this. 
Um, oh my god, let's do that as the next video, please. It's really difficult to know for me because I've done at the World Championships, they gave us half an hour and as much food as we could eat, so we couldn't really. I ate a lot. But... It's not going to be 24,000 calories, is it? That's right. Whoa. You win. You can challenge me all you like, I'm not threatened by you at all. <laughs> Are you doing the challenge today? We'll see. Oh. It's worth my time. Too scared, I've heard. I've heard, I've heard. I like I've heard like Leah doesn't want to go up against you again in an undefeated challenge. She, she undefeated. It's not undefeated, it's unattempted. Yeah, so undefeated. So different. Oh, so you're going to get the record? Yeah. That's what she's going to do? Yeah. You're going to get the record, then she's going to try and beat you at a later date. Make you look shit. She will now. You've got to do it together now. You've got to. Why? You've just got to do it together. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I mean, I mean, that first one was a better rep than yours. What? How was that? How? <laughs> That's a bit better form, mate. Slow it down, though. Well, you just, <laughs> I just said to me that I just said he's the easiest person to get in his head, and you just did. You just did perfect time. on YouTube and if it was just me on my channel I would still be struggling it I, I was lucky that I went and competed in the world champs because I met a lot of people out there and they know me as a person so they are not um, they're not even thinking twice about promoting my channel and what I do because they know that it's just like the mutual thing like I'm in such support of everybody else so I think it's meeting people and networking that really helps and then once you have your core audience then it just word of mouth it just spreads like wildfire they're like you need to see this girl my um my brother's fiance came over yesterday and her hairdresser was talking about her daughter so her seven-year-old daughter found my channel through her friends at school and was telling her mum and her mum was like shopkeeper my client is Paley who's marrying and it's that smaller world that if yeah. once you get kids <laughs> it spreads like wildfire because they just find it fascinating I guess our generation of people we would look at these like flex magazine and you know, we'd look at bodybuilding.com and simply shredded that's where I started I started like there was nothing on the on yeah. there's no social media like there, there was nothing to look at to follow someone and the people that I was looking at was like Amanda Latona because she would be on bodybuilding.com and I used to follow her workouts and look at what she ate and whether that was how she worked out or that's how she ate that's how I started so I think that it's all relative because it gets you started at least but I agree with you completely I don't like the fact that a lot of bodybuilders they will talk about steroids as if it's like a magical cure I don't like that because there are a very young audience that will watch that but it's not normal to use steroids like I have got absolutely nothing wrong with people doing it if they're doing it for a purpose for their if you're a bodybuilder if you're a professional it's level like how are you putting the blue on third it is third. It's, it is third. it's the most watered down one. The worst one is yellow by an absolute crunch. Yeah. Orange. Agreed. Orange. Yellow. No, the orange, orange is okay. Orange it's very is tangerine. Right. If you like tangerine, yeah. you're in. Yellow tastes like kitchen cleaner. <laughs> do you drink kitchen cleaner, do you? Well, well no, but... No, do you know what it tastes like, then? Shut up. It tastes like the smell of kitchen cleaner. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't mean it tastes that, like that's it, That's what he it? meant. Thanks, Leah. So you're backing me up once, <laughs> Yeah, for once. Take that back now, Leah. I'll yeah. take it back. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what are you backing up him for? Right, where are we going? Uh, Where are we going? We're sure you, oh. Down there. We've got two hours till your food challenge. Oh, I'm getting nervous. You're getting nervous, mate. Yeah, always nervous. Don't get nervous, mate. That's what you're good at. It's like your only skill. So only skill. You shouldn't yeah. be too nervous at it. About Not it. sexually either. I'm rubbish at that. Yeah. <laughs> you're the type of channel that the, par the parents of children would be like, you're not allowed to watch up. Do you think? Yeah. If I catch you. That's just a taste thing. Do you know what? If I catch you on that. biceps and banter, you are in trouble. Do you know what the funniest thing is that on our iPad at home, Isabel watches it, my daughter who's four, <laughs> nearly four, and when my face <laughs> went off these comes up on the thumbnails, she goes, Daddy, Daddy, you're on the iPad. And I say, don't watch it. Close. And she always says, why is Uncle Mikey putting a stupid face? And I just go, don't be horrible, that's just his face. It's his normal face. That's just his face. It's normal face, yeah. 
if you build a good foundation, you will look sick, whatever happens. If you then do steroids on top of that, if your diet's on point, if your training's on point, if you're diligent with it, you will have a sick physique. It doesn't matter what body shape you have, you will be sick, like you will look like you train. I was told when I first started training that women do not have the ability to have muscle mass. And I mean, I came back off the back of playing rugby. So like, I was a big, like I was a big girl. Lost a ton of weight through like, badly dieting, let's say. Just yo-yo diets, too much cardio, not enough lifting of weights. When I did lift weights, it was too many reps, not enough weight. Um, and so I was just absolutely pounding the cardio and not eating enough. So then when I started introducing food properly, then the changes started happening. It's like putting on like, real mats, like actual mats. I've never touched a drug in my entire life. And people look at me as if I've done drugs. And it's like, but I haven't. So I can sit on this side of the table and be like, if I now did do steroids, I would be competition probably level. <laughs> and if I just stay as I am, maintain physique it, it's just it is there's a balance there it's definitely possible but it's all to do with like your background and, and i had the smallest appetite i couldn't eat a lot when i was seriously no seriously i swear that i had to train myself to be able to eat like a bowl of porridge in the morning yeah i had to sit there and endure it and i remember feeling so full and just feeling like i don't want to eat this so imagine it's like that it all plays a part in who I am now and what I do now because it's that mindset it's like I have a goal I need to get there and this is what I need to do and it, it's just it's the humble beginnings isn't it like forcing yourself to eat porridge because you know that it's gonna be good for you mate you're nervous yeah very nervous you are yeah you're hungry yeah I am hungry I wonder how big this mixed grill is then I reckon it's pretty big so Leah the proper competitive eater has just been to ask them what this challenge what the challenge is a McDonald's breakfast hang on what, what have you had a McDonald's breakfast yeah and then a packet of either chicken no what, hang on what did you have then McDonald's breakfast double sausage egg muffin and hash brown and a bacon so you didn't just have like one no, bacon and a bagel and then on the drive I had chicken bacon and Dijon mustard sandwich it's nice good yeah. and, a, and <laughs> And one of them chicken on sticks as well. Brilliant. So you've eaten today? Yeah. I, I'm fine though. I've eaten today as well, to be fair. So I had, a, uh, I had an almond croissant from Gloucester Services and a protein bar. That's all I've had though, so maybe I should do a challenge as well. So yeah, we're just um, we're here at the Rowley Bar and Grill. Rowley? Rowley's. Rowley's. Rowley bar. Rowley bar and Grill. Not very busy, I'm not gonna lie. Rowley Bar and Grill. I am here with Leah again. She's gonna be my coach this time. She's not gonna fucking spank me like that time. For good reason, because I can. Not sexually. Don't be there again. Michael, say. Don't be there again. Two minutes. That's all, that's all it was. <laughs> that is all it was. Two minutes. And the clean up in that. So we are at the Rowley Bar and Grill. And we are in Rowley Regis. Rowley Regis. Near Birmingham. I am going to attempt this, which is a mixed grill, Indian. There's a lot of meat on there. But um, Lee's used to taking a lot of meat. One, let's go. She's gonna beat you, mate. She's gonna beat you. See how it doesn't go as fast as you can be off. It doesn't go as fast as you can be off. And you were like straight in. We're right quicker. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Mike's getting hammered by all the audience. Because, uh, I tell you what, Mike made that look very, very hard, didn't he? Yeah. He, made, he made that look so hard. Call the fans. Oh, Call yeah. the fans flocking around here. I'll have one with you. Yeah, that was good, He can't eat anything. <laughs> 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 what the fuck are you doing? Who's that picture with? Just some random guy who ate some things. He was fairly challenged. He tried. Yeah, he tried really hard. I reckon I've debated myself. I want to come back here, I like this place. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What's your old school? Biceps and banter? Oh, yeah, don't That's perfect for the banter. Don't look at that shite. Yeah. Nothing to do with the biceps, no? No, nothing. Yeah, considering it's fire fake, isn't it? Reindeer. Oh, stop. Stop putting your businesses. You get like the shout outs on radio, don't you? Where they're just like, um, shout out Steve the gas man. <laughs> <laughs> Second act calls. Makes it worse for everyone watching. How do you feel now? 
um, demoralized, humiliated. Yeah, I used to turn down like social, anything. And I used to um, make sure that I slept enough and I was eating on point, on the right hour, the right like, every single time. I was so like on it, so on it. And I loved training, it was like my, my retreat from life. And now I just see it as like, I enjoy training, it's part of my day. I don't like it when people interrupt me while I'm training, it like actually annoys me. Um, but it's just, it's just part of who I am. It's not something I have to do, it's something that I enjoy doing, so. I think it's about getting yourself to that point where it doesn't feel like a chore. Are you feeling the Yeah. Are you? Are you? Are you? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> oh, I did get called um, uh, a poor man's cake ovens yesterday. Oh, but you, I bet well, you hated that. Well, oh. I wanted to know his reasonings for saying that. And he said that Kate Oven did three of the mixed grills that I did two of. And so I went on her channel and she attempted three smaller mixed grills and failed. How can you compare me? <laughs> How can you compare us? You can't. So what time is it? Are we getting yeah, It's to... 25 to 4 if you want to yeah. head over. Jumping back. We did that one last question, didn't we? No. It's real answer. Second one. What have I been on? We did have one listener question. We had a couple actually. One of them said... Oh, don't. When... Oh, don't. Oh, no. When did you first realise that you could um, eat? eat? Basically, eat a lot of food. Um, so when I was really young, I've got an older brother really close in age to me. Um, I could always eat more than him. It was never a competition, but I was always able to have sessions at home. And he was just, yeah, it was just one of those things. I always knew I was more greedy than the average person. Um, and it's great, isn't it? Yeah. Professionally, and I guess as a challenge, he went to do a food challenge in 2013 at the same restaurant, 10 weeks consecutively, and lost every single time. Lost give up, mate. Yeah, just give up, mate. And so he'd come home and I bantered him, and I was dieting for a bikini show, so I couldn't actually go and prove him wrong. Um, and then you said, did afterwards. Please tell me. Yes. Did my show, went to this restaurant. The restaurant recognized me from my, like, gobshitiness on uh, Facebook, saying that, oh, I could do that easy. And then, yeah, I went there and I did it and I set the record and the restaurant called me back and then it snowballed completely. And then you met Mike. And then, yeah, then you met me. <laughs> <laughs> that so who's the loser, Lynn? Um, That guy over there, you see yeah. him? You see, I'm technically now like middle out of the three of us because I didn't try it, so that means I didn't fail. No, because you failed before because you refused to do it. I didn't refuse to do it, there was just not enough time for me to do it. You so said, that means no, 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 no. You're quote, the worst. Yeah. All these fans look. Why do you want him as a friend, not you? Like, him going, here's my Facebook, here's my details, let me, yeah. Give me a call. Yeah. Let's meet Just like, again. like my Facebook page, please. We can eat something casually together. Oh, like my Facebook page, please. I'll take anything for followers. Any extra followers. Oh, Get me at all. Look, here's my Instagram, look. Yeah, here it is, look. Look how amazing I am. Just look how amazing I am, look. You see my picture on Instagram of me, look. Without my top on. Uh, I look good without my top on, look. Oh, yeah. Little oh, yeah. tricep there, do you see that? Oh, the little yeah, tricep you see, there, yeah. You wonder yeah. why they call me biceps and banter? Oh, yeah. Anything for the fans this last. It's such a nice one. Dropping digits. Anyway, until next time. Until next time. Until next time. We'll see you later. See you later. I'll see Stay you later. Stay near though, because I'll just talk to you after this is going to fine. Oh, wait, wait, what do you want to say? Something about Liz Sorry, being probably. a little bit less than me. Sorry, probably. Yeah. In case you're wondering where the biceps and banter are. Oh my god. Ooh. We've already seen her attempt some gym work this morning. Yeah. We'll put all the <laughs> bits in the bed. We haven't got any good bits you're eating in there, so. <laughs> Look at that. For the first five minutes, and then just caught you there, did he finish it? Did he finish Yeah, did he finish did it? He finish did it? he finish it? Did he finish it? Well, you, you be the judge. You be the judge of that. We are doing it separately, to be fair, so I'm going to have to do that anyway. Yeah. People aren't doubt like they're not doubting me, are they? No, because we're going to put the, the food times out at the same time. Yeah. Yeah, your viewers but the, the, are going to... the vlog's going to go out before that. <laughs> so I'm going to have to cut it and edit it so that it doesn't look like you've My failed. My fingers miserably. stink. Do they? See you later. Stinks. Anyway. I think not everything stinks. It's not the first time I've said that. Yeah. Right, Leah, we'll see you again very soon, hopefully. Been a pleasure. Lots of love. Be good, boys. Always.